At WLTZ First News, we're always putting you first. We do that by acting as an advocate for our viewers. WLTZ First News' Dorothy Sherman introduced us to the Patillo family and their battle over a worker's compensation claim. Dorothy came to our home and she asked questions in a compassionate, informed way. Dorothy told their story and it made a difference. But just last week, the Department of Labor decided to vacate their most recent denial. The WLTZ getting involved was a very positive move. WLTZ First News, putting you first. We also put your safety first with breaking weather coverage from the Omni HD Storm Track Center. This is a WLTZ First News weather alert. Well, very good Wednesday afternoon to you, everybody. WLTZ Chief Meteorologist Matt Wintz here with a severe weather update. We've got rough weather all across the area this afternoon. We get right to the radars now. We've had rough weather all across the Columbus metro area, but that not severe at this time. The severe storms are here just around the Ellaville area, just to the southwest of you. Buena Vista, if you're looking south, you can see the dark clouds. You're not getting affected right now other than a few raindrops. We'll keep you updated here on WLTZ and WLTZ.com. This has been a WLTZ First News Weather Alert. For more, log on to WLTZ.com. We always put you first with the most accurate, up-to-date news coverage. What is autism? That's what Michelle Drake and her husband asked when not one, but all three of her boys shared the symptoms of autism spectrum disorder. Ebola signs are what you can see around the East Alabama Medical Center. We have signs um, at all of our entrances. There are only 13 operational B-17 bombers left on the planet, and Columbus will be home to one, well, this weekend at least. Uh, they made, you know, just about, just under 13,000 of these aircraft, uh, and to think that, you know, we can't even get one squadron together if we got them all together in one spot, we, we couldn't even make a squadron. Star Asia Davis, mother of three, lives in this home owned by Terman Realty. She says since last week she's been trying to get some repairs done, some small. More than one side, it come up on the other side. Some more serious. When I plug this heater up, my TV, my everything in my house from the kitchen to my front room turns off. It's day three of the international sniper competition and distractions like these grenade simulations are just one of the factors these 36 two-man teams have to deal with as they focus on their targets. I ate white dirt about 10 years. I have this urge to eat dirt. I eat white dirt. I ate dirt and I ate dirt. These people are referring to dirt. Yes, they'd rather eat dirt. That's why dirt was good to me. I mean, I'd rather eat that dirt than eat food. We put your health first during October with our coverage of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And Columbus Goes Pink Cascade Hills hosts their eighth annual Paint Columbus Pink event over the weekend. Breast Cancer Awareness had a huge splash as they kicked off the event with a foam and obstacle challenge. Other activities included the Pink Pooch Contest. Money raised from the event helps local individuals in their fight against breast cancer. This year in the United States alone, about 40,000 women will die of breast cancer. But there is some good news with that because thousands more will battle the disease and they will survive. Today is the 8th of the month, the day we remind you to do that Buddy Check 38 self breast exam at home. Now, VJ Roberts is a four year cancer survivor. She says she was first told that she had a cyst that was not cancer, but when she had blood work done at a health fair at her job at TESAS, she was told to go get a second opinion, and she did. And I was checked here, and they said, you know, that my blood levels were bad, and I told them that I had taken it to my doctor before, and they said, you need a new doctor, and that prompted me to get another doctor who was then able to diagnose that I had breast cancer, and, and it was invasive. Now I'm like four years out, and I, I feel good, but it's taken you know, taking this time to feel really great and energized. <laughs> and you look great too, BJ. Now she says connecting with other women who also battled breast cancer was very important in helping her deal with the disease mentally and physically. WLTZ First News cares about your health. In October, WLTZ First News put you first during Breast Cancer Awareness Month with D. Armstrong live at Paint the Town Pink. Miller Robson serving as MC of Paint Columbus Pink and live coverage of Columbus Regional's Breast Cancer Awareness Luncheon. We always put you first with our Buddy Check 38 program on the 8th of every month. Putting you first, it's what we do at WLTZ First News. 
We also put your environment first with our Community Green Initiative. So congratulations to the Spencer High Green team on being that latest recipient of the WLTZ NBC 38 CW Jabama Community Green Award. This special group of high school students has many green projects underway with many more in the works. The green team started in 2012 from our former assistant principal, Mr. Eddie Powell. We've assisted an elderly woman with some yard work. We participated in the campus cleanup in association with Health the Hooch. And we've also volunteered with Habitat for Humanity. Well, get involved. It's not only benefiting your community, but it's benefiting you. You gain community service hours and you learn new skills. Going out into the community, helping other people makes us feel better. Who are we? Green team. What do we do? Clean the scene. Clean, 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 clean. Green team. Spencer Green Team also wanted to add that going out into the community as part of the Green Team has brought them closer together and they consider themselves more of a family than just a group. So if you know someone who is doing their part to help the environment, you can nominate them at communitygreen at WLTZ.com and they could be next month's recipient of the Community Green Award sponsored by Diverse Power. If there's one thing that everyone in the South puts first, it's college football. We celebrate the start of the season with War Eagle Week. All right, Tiger fans, get your hands up for Body Get Up! Body Get Up! Oh. You ready? Ready! Get up! One, two, three! Body Get Up! Body Get Up! Body Get Up! Body Get Up! Rock, rock, rock! This is Blue Pop! We go, we go! Warm the enemy! Go keep it! West Bank Blue! Hey! It's final preparations for the Southeastern Raptor Center. Preparations for a well-known game day tradition at Auburn University. Before kickoff, an eagle is released from the Jordan Hare stands where it soars through the stadium, landing at the 50 yard line. A half minute flight that takes just a second for this stadium to get excited. We continue our War Eagle Week coverage from the campus of Auburn University. We are joined with team coverage from Toomer's Corner, starting with our very own Dee Armstrong, who is standing by with J&M bookstore owner Trey Johnston. Dee, take it away. Thanks, Matt. We are here at Toomer's Corners again as we're going to be all this week for War Eagle Week. And today I have Trey Johnston with me, whose family has a long, long history in Auburn. J&M Bookstore. War Eagle, welcome to Auburn. Let's get ready to play some football. The machines are up and running and the paint sprayers are out in full force. It takes a lot of work, but it's a labor of love. A love the Auburn University turf crew certainly has. They've been working on the Jordan Hare field and the surrounding landscaping since the early spring. But right now, NBC 38 meteorologist Matt Wentz is standing by, joining us with that very first look at the weather from a top rare jeweler in downtown Auburn. Well, thanks a lot, Matt. Uh, being up here on the third floor, air's a little thinner. It feels a little bit warmer, too. We've been tracking the bank thermometer in town here, and yesterday it hit 91 degrees. Today it's sitting at 95, so we're feeling the heat today. I should have worn my uh, button-up tank top. I don't think they make those. Let's take a look at the temperatures outside. We're in the 90s, pretty much area-wide. Rick Smith, he's a well-known man in the Auburn community. While you may not recognize his face or his name, you will recognize his voice. The correct Jordan Hare Stadium time is 2.05. We're one hour away from today's game between the Arkansas Razorbacks and your Auburn Tigers. WLTZ First News continues in high definition. And finally tonight, the Ice Bucket Challenge appears to be an unstoppable money-raising machine as the ALS Association announces their donations of top 79 million dollars and today legendary Auburn coach Pat Dye, Auburn Board of Trustees President Jimmy Rain, as you can see both got dumped with ice on Auburn's campus. Gus Malzahn's taken part, Bo Jackson did it over the weekend. They joined the ranks of 1.7 million people who have donated to the cup. Well thank you for joining us here on WLTZ First News on War Eagle Week. Brian Williams coming up next. We always put you first with event coverage, as we did during Decision 2014. WLTC First News puts you first with live, up-to-date team coverage of Decision 2014. Paris Holmes took you live to the Columbus Elections Office. Some really important local elections in Columbus. And Dorothy Sherman live from the First News Auburn Bureau. Well, there's about two hours left of voting time. Dee Armstrong and Matt Lally were joined in studio by political analyst Dr. Frederick Gordon. Candidates need to be out there and to connect with the public. And they brought you live updates as the results came in. WLTC First News, putting you first, on air, online, everywhere. WLTC First News.